I take that? Bring another ginger beer and point of shandy in a couple of minutes. Irish Irish are happy. Where'd you hear that? At the theater? No, do you mean the music hall? I guess. It sure wasn't it. Sung by a brat of a boy with a bunch of shamrock in his coat and a shillelagh in his hand. And didn't he wish he had top of the morning, a top of the morning? What's wrong with that? Everything. Why? Because it's a phony and a lie. It's the kind of thing that makes us a laughing stock. Look at the Irish. I'm the scream. Well, gee, I, I... Makes my blood boil. Why, because you're a writer? Because I'm an Irishman. Yeah. Maybe a writer too. So you like the theatre? Well, yeah. Do you go much? Well, not as much as I'd like to. Meet me outside. Tomorrow at three o'clock, I'll take you to the Abbey. The Abbey? Is that, is that some kind of a church? No. Some might think so, but no, it's a theatre. Our theatre. Thanks, I'd like that. Get along. And don't forget those drinks. Oh, thanks. Two nurse stranger not come to the house the night before the wedding. Open the door, Mike. And don't keep the poor woman waiting. God save all here. God save you kindly. You have good shelter here. Machine. The Iron Woman. Kathleen Nahoulahan. In other words, Ireland. Symbolic, you see. Yes, Prompt. Sit down. Sit down by the fire there and welcome. There's a hard wind outside. Have you travelled far today? I have travelled far, very far. There are few who have travelled as far as myself. Was it much land they took from you? My four beautiful green fields. Four provinces of Ireland taken by the English. Tell me something I can do for you. Tell me something I can do for you. You're not making sense. Speak clearly and with imagination. No unnecessary move. Who's that? It's Nibs. The man himself. Director of the Abbey. Poet and playwright, Mr. William Butler Yeats. They'll be alive forever. Anyone for tea? Notes in the green room, please. Is that Sean O'Casey? It is, sir. I shall be pleased to see you, Mr. O'Casey, after I've spoken with the actor. Thank you, sir. What does he want to talk to you about? Um, my play. Hmm. Your play is challenging, Mr. O'Casey. You have a gift for characterization. I do not think, however, it is suitable for the stage of our national theater. You don't? It's too prolix, too discursive, and to my mind, too realistic. Too realistic? Well, your hero, Jack, he is a socialist, is he not? Political ideas are seldom dramatic even from the brilliant pen of Mr. George Bernard Shaw. So my play is a failure, then? Yes, but an honorable one. Pray do not lose heart, Mr. Casey. I shall be pleased to see more of your work. Indeed, I look forward. Yes, a definite gift for characterization. Thank you for allowing me to see it. Thank you for reading it, sir. And how did you find rehearsal? The play is fine. Mr. Jones? I agree with Sean. I like it. Came to me in a dream, you know. Really? A dream almost as distinct as a vision. As if from an invisible world. I believe poetical drama 
has no need of realistic setting, but only that which is legendary. You mean symbolic? Exactly so. Poetical, legendary, airy, fairy, owl, bollocks! He said he liked your play. He did not. He said it was challenging. Challenging! That's only one step up from interesting. The last bloody thing any writer wants to hear. We said the characters were great. Well, what would he know about us? With his bloody Celtic thorns and his Brian Baroos and his bloody Kathleen Nahulads. And when did Yeats ever look at, at a real person, let alone try and understand one? It came to me in a dream. Did you really hate his play? Ah, his play's all right. But it has nothing to do with Ireland now. It's a piece of ancient history. I want to write plays that stink of life. Real life. I want to rub people's noses in it so maybe they'll get up and do something about it. You know, I want to... The hell with it! And the hell with William Butler Bloody Yates!